In this video, we're going to demonstrate how you return an Apple iPad back to its factory defaults. Typically, you would perform a factory reset if you intend to lend, sell or give away your iPad. This is because the reset process will deregister your handset from your iCloud account and remove any personal data, settings and downloaded content. In order to perform a factory reset, we recommend that you have at least 60% battery charge or you are connected to the mains. You also need to make sure that the iPad is able to connect to the internet so that it can automatically deregister itself from your iCloud account. If from the home screen, we select Settings. Within Settings, we now need to locate and choose General. From within General, we now need to select Transfer or Reset iPad. We're now presented with three options. Get Started allows us to transfer everything on this iPad over to a new iPad. Reset will allow us to reset specific settings and can be very useful when troubleshooting certain issues on an iPad. The final option allows us to wipe our iPad. After selecting Arrays or Contents and Settings, we're now informed that we're about to reset this iPad and told that all personal data will be removed along with our Apple ID. When we select Continue, as our iPad is passcode protected, we now need to unlock our iPad. The iPad will now try and send a backup to our iCloud account. We're now prompted for our Apple ID password so that we can turn off Find My and Activation Lock. After entering the password, we're asked to confirm that we wish to wipe our iPad. Let's select Erase iPad. The iPad will now return itself back to its factory defaults. It is important that while the iPad is being factory reset, you do not attempt to remove it from its power supply or power it down. The reset process will be complete when you are prompted to set up your iPad, and it will only be at that stage that it will be safe to power it down.